The national retail average for gas has fallen for 10 straight days. It's now 374 a gallon, but prices at the pump here in the Miami Valley are much lower than that. 335 in Kettering, 339 in Fairborn, and just 327 in Dayton. Drivers have different theories as to why there's been a dramatic drop. Election and economy, finances. Well, the best idea is because the election, trying to get the looking good. <laughs> Maybe they can buy it cheaper or something. I'm not really sure. I think the grass prices has went down because of the election. So yeah, and I think it's a good thing. Dr. Riyad Ajami is the director of the Center for Global Business at Wright State University. He says the explanation is simple, supply and demand. Oil stocks have gone up, oil demand has gone down, and you may ask why did oil demand go down? The recent data on unemployment suggests, of course, we are not having enough people gainfully employed in the market. About a month ago, he says gas prices went up much higher than they should have due to refining problems here in the U.S., but drivers shouldn't see a rise in gas prices again anytime soon. They'll be steady, and they are not going to be picking up until probably early next spring, unless, of course, we have unexpected events in the Middle East, political problems, and a few other places. And some more good news for drivers. Experts predict that gas will continue to go down about 5 to 15 cents per week for the next three weeks. Reporting live in Moraine, Jackie Sprague, 2 News.